We are a curious species always reaching for the unknown. In 1977 we launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, not to a nearby planet but to the cosmos itself. These spacecraft were our first emissaries to the stars, carrying our hopes and questions into deep space. Imagine a species on a small rocky world, building intricate vessels and sending them into the void. The Voyagers were meant to last a few years, but they became our longest-running explorers, pushing the boundaries of human achievement. Born from a rare planetary alignment, they embarked on a grand tour of the four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. We seized the moment, sending our ships on a journey that would redefine our place in the universe. Their launch marked humanity's leap into the unknown, carrying a piece of all of us. More than American spacecraft, they became ambassadors for Earth, tasked with exploring and reporting back on the wonders they found. But they also carried a deeper purpose, a message for any civilization they might encounter in the vastness of interstellar space. The Voyagers are our silent scouts venturing into the great unknown. They embody our collective curiosity and our drive to explore. Their journey is a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream. Voyager's first mission was a breathtaking tour of the outer planets. At Jupiter we witnessed the great red spots swirling storms and discovered active volcanoes on Io. Saturn's rings, once thought solid, were revealed as thousands of intricate ringlets, shaped by shepherd moons. Voyager 2 gave us our first close-ups of Uranus and Neptune, uncovering faint rings, new moons, and Neptune's great dark spot. These encounters transformed points of light into dynamic worlds, revealing Europa's hidden ocean, and Triton's nitrogen geysers. The data filled textbooks, and inspired a new generation of explorers. Using gravity assists, the Voyagers sped toward the edge of the solar system, their primary mission complete but their journey just beginning. Now they headed for the mysterious space between the stars. The Voyagers carry more than instruments. They carry a message. Each probe holds a golden record, a time capsule from Earth, created as a greeting to any intelligent life that might find it. Curated by Carl Sagan's team, the record is a hopeful gesture, a testament to our desire to connect. It contains 115 images, sounds of Earth, greetings in 55 languages, and music from Bach to Chuck Berry. The record says, this is who we are, this is what we value. The odds of it being found are tiny but that's not the point. Creating the record forced us to see ourselves from a cosmic perspective. It's a symbol of hope, a declaration that despite our flaws, we have something beautiful to share. The golden record is our way of saying hello to the universe, it's a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. After decades the Voyagers approach the heliopause, the boundary where our sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. In 2012 Voyager 1 crossed this frontier becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. Everything we'd ever known was now behind it, it was flying through the untouched medium between the stars. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, confirming we'd entered a new cosmic environment. The data was revolutionary, a drop in solar particles, a surge in galactic cosmic rays. The Voyagers were now sailing on the winds of the galaxy. These aging probes built with 1970s technology had achieved the extraordinary. They extended humanity's reach into the Milky Way, becoming our silent sentinels in the unknown. Their crossing marked a new chapter in exploration. We had become an interstellar species. As Voyager 1 ventured deeper it detected something unexpected, a faint persistent hum in the plasma of interstellar space. Not a sound, but vibrations. A steady low-level drone, the ambient murmur of the galaxy. Scientists thought interstellar space would be silent but Voyager revealed a constant low-frequency vibration everywhere. The source remains a mystery. Perhaps thermally excited plasma waves, echoes of distant cosmic events or unknown interactions with galactic magnetic fields. This hum gives us a new way to measure the density of interstellar space. It's a reminder of why we explore. The greatest discoveries often lead to new questions. The space between stars is more complex and dynamic than we imagined. Voyager listens to the heartbeat of the galaxy, and we listen in. The void is not empty. It has its own weather, its own sound. Our distant messenger continues to surprise us. The Voyagers, nearly 50 years old, are powered by dwindling reserves, their instruments shutting down one by one, yet, they continue to perform incredible science at the edge of space, a testament to human ingenuity. They are monuments to our relentless curiosity, sent not for profit, but to know what lies beyond. 
Even after their signals fade, they'll drift through the Milky Way for millennia, carrying the golden record, a testament to a species that reached for the stars. They will outlast our cities, our nations, perhaps even our species. Their mission of discovery will never truly end. The story of Voyager is the story of humanity, a journey still unfolding. We continue to look up, inspired by what our robotic explorers have shown us. The universe awaits, and our search for knowledge goes on.